This video is part of the series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we introduce the Oxygen Distribution Network. The Oxygen Distribution Network begins immediately after the oxygen pressure is reduced to a level compatible with the requirements of the medical equipment that will be connected to it. This network contains a number of elements, the main ones being safety or pressure relief valves, opening and closing valves, alarms, stations or consumption points. The safety valve relieves pressure from the network if, for any reason, it exceeds the level set at the pressure reduction station. When this valve is activated, an amount of oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Accordingly, it must be located at a safe distance from buildings, cars, and people. The oxygen supply networks are distributed throughout the hospital and can be built into the walls or installed on them, where they are visible. For safety reasons, the networks are painted with different colors. In this video, we have used green for oxygen, blue for nitrous oxide, yellow for medical compressed air, and gray for the clinical vacuum network. Before they can function, these networks need valves to start or stop the flow of gas. The valves are always used during preventive and corrective maintenance activities and to cut off the flow of gas if there is a fire. The valves are installed in pass boxes distributed at specific points in each network, and they should be visible to hospital workers. Oxygen distribution networks also have alarms that activate if pressure is too high or too low. Know what to do in these situations. If you have questions, you can contact the PEHO Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.